Hey guys, I'm Haley and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys saw by the title, today is a, another episode of Ophelia's First. As you guys may know, polo ponies are some of the most bomb-proof horses in the horse world. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of desensitization training with Ophelia. So desensitization training is basically exposing her to a bunch of different things that she may encounter, whether it's on a trail ride, during a polo game, or during a charity event. So I have quite the list of things like plastic bags, whistles, and a whole bunch of stuff to hopefully start the process of desensitizing Ophelia. So Ophelia has already been exposed to like the mallet and the ball and stuff like that. So that's not really what I'm going to be working on today. I'm mainly going to be working on random things that she might find spooky. So as you may have picked up from watching a couple of my other videos featuring Ophelia, she is incredibly calm, but I want to try to make her even calmer. I know one of the main things that she is spooked by right now is when she's riding around in the arena, she will kick the dirt up against the walls and then she will kind of freak out a little bit. So that is one thing that we're gonna be working on today. So Ophelia's training while I'm riding her is going really, really well. Put your head back down, you're too tall. I'm short and you're tall, put your head back down. So let's get started. So one of the things that Ophelia gets really spooked at is whenever I'm riding and she kicks dirt or gravel up against the wall. So we're going to start with just walking her by the wall and I'm going to have my boyfriend who's behind the camera just kind of kick and throw rocks up against the wall as I walk by. Good girl, good girl. Easy. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's a little freaky by it, but it's not too bad. So she was doing pretty well during that, but I want to give her a little bit of a break. So I want to go to one of the other items that I have for desensitizing for her, just because I want to come back to the rocks once in a while. That way it's not a consistent thing of her walking by because it doesn't happen every time she walks by the wall, only sometimes. I want it to be more sporadic so that she gradually starts to realize that when the rocks go up against the wall, she's not gonna die. Let's move on to a plastic bag. I'm looking at her ears. <laughs> I just look, give me a look like, shut up. So something that's really common for horses to spook at is little crinkly plastic bag sounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically start by having it just running up against her body and making crinkling noises. She's already doing really well with it considering before I even walked up and started filming, she was already sniffing the bag and not really caring about it. Good girl, good girl. See, it's not scary. So I've already done a lot of stuff with her to not be scared of whips and stuff being around her, mainly because I want to do liberty work with her. So she's already pretty desensitized to lunge whips as well as regular dressage whips going all the way around her body. So adding the plastic bag isn't really making much, much, much of a difference for her. Well, she seems to not really care about that. So I'm gonna start kind of flailing it around a little bit until she realizes that it's not gonna spook her. And as soon as she relaxes is when I'm going to release the noise. Good girl, good girl. Easy. Good girl. Good girl. So similar to training when you're actually riding the horse, you always want to do things on both sides because 
Sometimes horses will be better one way than they will the other. So you always just want to make sure that everything's really balanced. The main thing that I'm teaching her with this process of making the noise and then stopping it as soon as she relaxes is to kind of mimic that as soon as she relaxes during a scary situation, that's when things will get resolved. The main reason for uh, working on desensitization this way is to basically show her that freaking out and trying to run away is not gonna be what stops the scary thing from happening. That the way that the scary thing is gonna stop is that she relaxes. Good girl. You're being very good. So, it seems to be the worst place for the scary noise is when it comes from where the rider sits. So I'm going to do a little bit more of that so that if I'm the reason that there's a scary crinkling noise, I want her to be relaxed. Good girl. Good girl. Can I smell it? I always would prefer the fear to be replaced with curiosity, like see how she's sniffing the bag and, can, and she's curious about the bag as opposed to being scared of it. See? It's not going to hurt you. Smart girl. All right, let's do a little bit around your head, nice and slow. Good girl. Good girl. Good. So I think that's enough of the plastic bag for this session of desensitization training. So let's do a little bit more of the stuff with the gravel against the walls. Good girl. That's a big improvement. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Much better. So she is doing a lot better with the gravel noises. So we'll see if that actually pays off in the next couple days of me riding her to see if she'll still be spooky at that. So as you can see, like I said earlier, she is curious of the balls as opposed to being scared of them. But these are some arena polo balls. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the arena and I'm going to actually have my boyfriend throw these at the walls because when you're playing polo, you may have seen in some of my past videos, when you hit the ball really hard, it'll fly up and bounce off the walls. And our arena has metal sidings, so it makes a really, really loud bang every time that happens. So Ethan's gonna run around and throw some stuff. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Look how curious you are. Good girl. So another thing with polo is that in polo we have umpires or referees and they carry whistles with them. So if I'm ever playing her in a tournament or I am umpiring, I want her to not be scared of the whistle sound. Are you ready? My microphone's gonna like, 
<laughs> She's like, what? I don't want to actually whistle it because like I don't want to scare her too much but like I still want her to be like I think it's the echo that scares her more than the actual whistle that hurts my ears <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute she's like I don't know where that's coming from I'm gonna do some sounds from behind her so that she isn't looking directly in my eye as I'm whistling to her. Good girl. Well, that's enough of the whistling. So we are starting to near the end on my list of things that I wanna do for desensitizing Ophelia. And the next thing on my list is going to be people who are wearing bright colored clothing. So my boyfriend is going to put on his high vis from work and he is going to do some jumping jacks and he's gonna wave his arms around. Basically, he's going to try to spook her. That way she can not hopefully spook eventually at it. The reason that I want her to see this kind of stuff is because I play in a lot of charity polo games and normally in charity games, there's people who are walking around on the sides of the field. And normally the people who are doing the goalkeeping actually are wearing high vis or a very similar color to high vis. So I want her to be able to not be scared of anybody walking around behind her doing weird stuff, just in case somebody's walking around while I'm doing a charity event and there may be jumping or their kids playing around or whatever. So I want her to be very exposed to everything that she might see. I basically am just having my boyfriend wear high vis because it makes him a little bit more scary than if he was just wearing his sweater. <laughs> she doesn't care about you at all. Good girl. So the other thing I want you to do is I want you to take, can you take your high vis off and can you just like flip it around kind of like a flag? I think she's gonna be more scared of that than you actually jumping around. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, you are so smart. So the next thing that I wanna do is I want to introduce her to a folding lawn chair because we have a lot of people who come and watch polo in the summertime when we're playing out on the grass. And normally people sit in those foldy lawn chairs, but most of the time, some of our horses are actually pretty scared of them. So I'm gonna have Ethan go out behind her and flick open a lawn chair and sit down and try to make some noise to see if she'll spook at it. That was the most aggressive lawn chair folding ever. <laughs> Bring it closer to camera so we can see. I want her to have, I want to have her like come up and meet you while you're sitting in the lawn chair kind of thing. I'm gonna take a little 360. <laughs> Good girl.
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I had quite a bit of fun doing a little bit of desensitization with Ophelia. I will most likely be doing a part two for this and adding a whole bunch more things to her list that she is no longer scared of. She is a incredibly calm and chill horse already. So I'm not totally surprised that she was as fearless as she was but I'm regardless very happy at how she did. Desensitizing is definitely not a one session kind of thing. So don't get me wrong. If this is something that you want to do with your horse, it is consistency. You have to do it over and over again. I'm going to be doing this a couple times a week with O to try to get her to be super brave. And I'm going to try to expose her to as many things as I can. So if you guys like today's video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Leave your thoughts and comments down below as well as turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. You can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Links to both of those will be down in the description box. And as you may not know, I now upload every Thursday and Sunday. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. See you later.